This is the Vapor Blunt 2.0. As you can see, it's made out of a really durable black plastic that feels pretty sturdy. It's got five indicator lights on the front, as well as an on and off button, a spot for a mouthpiece, and on the other side here, there is a twistable nozzle. Here's a closer look at the inside of the nozzle, which actually stirs your herb while you're using your unit. Here's a closer look at the heating chamber. You can see that it's the shape of a little thimble, and it pops out, which makes it really easy to clean. It's actually a pretty decent size. It's not too big or too small. Whenever your Vapor Blunt 2.0 gets a red flashing light, you'll know it's time to charge. Plug the charger into the side of the unit, and it'll start charging, which is indicated by a blue flashing light. When your Vapor Blunt 2.0 is completely charged, the blue light will turn solid. It takes about two hours to charge fully, and it can be used when plugged in. Once you've got your material loaded into the heating chamber, go ahead and turn the unit on by pressing the button twice. You can see the blue lights indicate the battery level, and to start heating, go ahead and click it one more time. The flashing green light is going to let you know that it's started heating. The bottom setting is 370 degrees, while the top setting is 470 degrees, which is a little bit overkill for herbs, but if you're into oils and concentrates, it's perfect. If you're using your unit for oils, go ahead and replace the top nozzle with the concentrate piece. Make sure your temperature is on one of the highest settings, and pop the glass mouthpiece firmly in place. One of the most unique features about the Vapor Blend 2.0 is the fact that for $150 you can purchase the glass attachment kit which comes with this little nozzle that connects it to a hydro tube. It usually takes the Vapor Blunt 2.0 about 90 seconds to completely heat up which will be indicated by a solid green light. When your light stops flashing it's time to vape.